In a few weeks, I'll be singing the title role in Susan Stroman's witty new production of The Merry Widow. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I have to confess, one of my greatest delights will be wearing the gorgeous Belle Epoque gowns of William Ivy Long, who's won six Tony Awards for costume design. I'm with him now in the Mets costume shop, a busy place to be even on a Saturday. William, thank you for joining me. Um, you've had an unparalleled career in the in the theater. And what about opera? Have you are you a fan? Have you designed for the opera before? I, well, I designed Leonard Bernstein's A Quiet Place, uh, along with the Treble and Tedi at the Vieta Staatsoper. And we did also did it at the Houston Grand and at La Scala. So but that was a long time ago. I've had a, a drought. Yeah, a but that's starting at the two. top. Yeah, so that, 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 was, that okay. was at the top, yeah. It was okay, but this is the Metropolitan Opera, so <laughs> I feel that this is the a great treat. And also I'm thrilled to work with this very famous costume shop where oh. everything is at the your fingertips so I'm just it's an honor to work here oh thank, they're gonna so much appreciate that you've done something a little unusual for the Met by making these uh, gorgeous maquettes which are just exquisite and I, re I recognize these four which are my costumes and those right. two are kept for Kelly O'Hara who plays Valenciennes and can you describe each of the costumes and well, what inspired them first of all normally you do sketches <clears throat> these are sketches and you know it's it's flat, two dimensional, but I wanted to because your character is fashion forward in a time of great opulence, so that's hard to imagine. Uh, and I wanted to make something in three dimension so I could work with the drapers. Uh, your draper is of course Regina, who is fabulous, and uh, yeah, she I is. wanted to be able to communicate drape and movement and shimmer. And so I made these uh, maquettes, which. I also call my dolls. Mm, yeah, and, every little uh, girl's dream, no question. Uh, they're, so, they're they so, help us. They help us discover the character within because them. Because they can see exactly how yep. a fold is supposed to be and where it's supposed to be. Um, they don't have to sort of interpret. The costumes are incredibly detailed. So um, how do they do the for So the forms are really helping the team build these dresses. These are pretty good proportions. These are not mm -hmm. Barbie doll proportions or fashion school proportions, which are, you know, this tall, you know, a million feet tall. This is more or less human scale, which is uh, helpful to work with. And uh, al also just to say, this is a, this Belle Epoque period, this is sort of, but I've done a mashup of Charles Frederick Worth, uh, Charles James, who's uh, just had an exhibit, yes, show, and exactly. Vivian Westwood, oh, who is still wild and working yes. in London. <laughs> so uh, this is very Vivian Westwood, this one right here. And yes. then, of course, we invented our Pontevedrian look, which is your right. right. Hannah's yes. uh, home, homeland. Mm -hmm. So um, it goes from the first time we see her is in black, which is this one. She's a widow. The widow. All. Yes. And uh, that's at the embassy ball, very grand. And then we see you at your house, and you're entertaining in yes, your and Pontevedrian style, <laughs> her, which, which we'll soon discover how Susan Stroman has interpreted Pontevedrian style. Well, you've worked with Susan a lot in the past. I've done Ta 30 tell us about that. 30. Thirty. Oh my goodness. We're not even old enough to have done thirty productions. That includes ballets and. Has she only worked with you? I, I, it seems so, yes. but no, we'll no. Just say, we'll say yes, yes. Yeah, we'll say yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'm de rigueur with her creative spirit, yes. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely. Well, listen. Well, I get her humor, and you know that humor is yes. sort of legendary. <laughs> well, um, I, I can't wait to put these on, and thank you so much for speaking with us today. Well, it's today. great that you, yeah, you're in the are, costume shop. They're, so. they're doing half my job, honestly. Great. The Merry Widow has been in rehearsal for weeks in preparation for our opening on New Year's Eve and the live movie theater presentation on January 17th with William's dazzling costumes, Susan's choreography and direction, and Lehar's gorgeous score. The Merry Widow is sure to be a delight. 